Hello everyone. This is Vandita Sarda from Actuators Educational Institute and today we are going to talk about actuaries with actuators. So as we all know, actuaries is a long long course. In fact, it is 13 papers plus an entrance exam if you appear from the Indian Institute. People often think that such a long course requires too much of discipline, which is true. Of course, consistency and discipline, two things with which run actuaries. But it is not true that this course cannot end. We have many associates, we have many fellows with us who have proved that it is very much possible and not too difficult to complete the entire course. So, in the first attempt, you can go for CM1 or CS1 as per your choice, as per your time constraints. Along with that, you can go for a smaller paper, either CB1 or CB2. CM1 is all about basic actuarial mathematics. We have uh, discounting and we have an insight into the insurance principles. CS1 is basic actuarial statistics. CB1 is business finance and CB2 is business economics. In the next attempt, you give the two papers which you skipped in the first attempt, which means if you went for let's say CM1, then this time you go for CS1. If you went for CB1, then this time you go for CB2. And with that, just in one single year, you will be done with four of your actuarial papers. Third diet, we go for CS2. CS2 talks more about insurance and statistics. Fourth attempt, you go for CM2, which is comparatively a smaller curriculum than CS2. So along with that, in case you were left with any of your CB papers, you can easily appear for those as well. The next half of the examinations. Fifth paper you can go, or the fifth diet actually, you can go for CP1, which is actuarial practice. Since this paper's content is pretty humongous, we would like to leave it solo. Sixth, uh, sixth diet, you go for your first specialization. That is, whichever domain you would like to specialize in, you choose the SP level paper of that domain. And along with that, you choose either CP2 or CP3. Now, CP2 is for modeling. CP3 is for communication. Again, both of them are just practice-based papers. There is no other preparation as such required. So your preparation can focus on SP and you can just practice CP2, CP3. In your seventh attempt, you go for your other SP level paper along with the remaining of CP2 or CP3. Finally, in the eighth attempt, you go for your advanced specialization, which is the essay level paper in your domain. This covers 12 papers. The 13th paper, which is CB3, that does not require any preparation at all. You can choose your session for CB3 as per your requirements, as per your uh, timeline and appear for it at any given level. Before your SP and SA papers, if you uh, complete all 10 papers along with work experience, you would be getting an associate degree. And after you're done with all the papers and three years of work experience, you would be getting your fellowship degree from whichever institute you are appearing from. For all of these papers, at Actuators, we do not only provide classes, but we also provide mentoring sessions, mocks, regular practice sessions, one-on-one -on -one guidance, etc. So join us today. And in case you have any other doubts, you can always contact us on any of our handles or on 8100598543. Thank you so much.